Um, I'm joined now today with Lewis Pollen as he gets ready to fight for the Scottish title against uh, Stephen Tiffany and Paisley next week. Uh, Lewis, how's things? Um, you're, you're fighting Stephen Tiffany, who's also from Froon Edinburgh. Um, does that add a wee bit uh, extra to the fight? Yeah, definitely bragging rights afterwards. Obviously, we've got to know each other. Yeah, um, it's just um, it's, it seemed a bit strange to me that this uh, card was uh, that this fight's taking place in Paisley. Uh, when you think of like, the talent that's coming through for Edinburgh, I thought maybe a card would have been put through there with with the likes of like Tommy Philbin and uh, Ian Trotter. Um, did it strike you as a bit strange that it was uh, getting brought through to Paisley? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's strange. And uh, obviously, it's been a long time since I've been there, but also after fighting through the Glasgow, you know? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Sorry, the venue's never under a great for uh, the boxing, like, to be fair, but the Glasgow doesn't seem to be having the better venue. Yeah, well, it, I stayed right next to um, the Paisley Lagoon, and um, it, it's, it's actually quite a good venue for uh, boxing if you can get the crowd in there. Uh, I hope that I'll be busy at Christmas time and that. I think it's a really good Um, obviously, the the winner of this I, will be in a great position to maybe push on for the the British title. Uh, have you thought about that? Ah, of course, of course. Yeah, but one fight at a time. I need to take care of the title and the Scotland one fight at a time. Obviously, the Yeah, that's it. Well, boxing at this level of the sport, um, it's kind of just moving on to national level. Um, this is like the lifeblood of the sport, but uh, just how difficult is it to kind of juggle boxing and about your family life and uh, work and stuff like that? That is difficult, aye. That, that's one of the issues. Like, it's different if you've got full-time jobs, like you know, sponsorship and enough backing and that uh, not to worry about working and all these things. Yeah, I've always wondered um, what, what, how, just how hard is it for guys like yourself to kind of get like, uh, get sponsors on board uh, to help out. Unless, unless you're like, uh, unless you're one of the unfortunate ones who hasn't gone amateur, and you got to go through something like the Olympics in the games or something like that. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'll make them work harder. Yeah. I'll appreciate it more. 
Yeah, well, it, it's kind of, so you hear about it quite a lot, you know, you could imagine there'll be a lot of guys fall away from the sport just because of all the sacrifices they make, and it might just take that wee bit longer to, like, for sponsors to get notice or to actually just get work, uh, to be flexible with you. It, mu- it must cost a lot of young guys uh, j- their careers, really. Uh, we've done a lot of that, and that will be a big factor. We've, we've, we've got a lot of young guys that have to train before work and then work and then train at night. You know, it doesn't really have any free time. Yeah, yeah, but massive commitment. We're in a training camp, but not, there's no free time really in a training camp. We're training, working, resting, and that's it. Yeah, I could imagine, mate. Um, uh, it's just, I, I was looking, uh, I was reading up a wee bit about you uh, uh, this morning uh, and I noticed that you had boxed for the Meadow Bank Amateurs uh, when you were younger. Um, I, mean, I was just reading the other day there that Meadowbank Sports Centre is actually getting closed down. Uh, how do you feel about that? Yeah, I was like, guys, but it doesn't sound like Meadowbank is even rubbish. But it's not like they say, they pop up with benefit actually pop up for us to move in. So now we're like, effectively homeless kind of like gymless, as you say. So that's pretty poor, I think. So it's a university club and you've got a lot of people in. Yeah, I, I'd know. I've seen Alex. I'd seen Alex Arthur uh, speaking about it, and uh, he w- he was pretty much saying the same as yourself. It's like uh, the guys, the, the the boxing clubs kind of just had it ripped away from them. Um, so, do you re- has there been any word that the, the the boxing club getting relocated? No, uh, I've not heard much about it. Just now, I've just concentrated on the fighting. I'm supposed to have other jobs a bit, like to train there. Yeah, there's, I mean, it's produced quite a lot of uh, great fighters over the years, uh, the Meadowbank, uh, so uh, it was a bit of a shock when I'd seen that, you know, if you'd have thought that the, the council or somebody would have took charge and uh, arranged other uh, property for them to for them to like, move into while it's getting done up. I know, I know. You would have thought that, you would have thought that that's just the problem, but I can't believe it's yeah, it is quite poor, but um, Lewis, I just want to say thanks very much for uh, giving us your time, mate, and uh, all the best when your fight comes in next week. Aye, uh, thank you. Uh, bye. We'll just get it. We're going to tie it on that set, you know, and we'll just go there. We still give them that, so we'll have to like. Well, that's it. I'll, have, uh, I'll get my friends with Paisley and that for a celebrate uh, supporting you, mate. Aye, <laughs> aye. Uh, uh, I'll be, I'll be yeah, I need to go back offshore, uh, I need to go back offshore on Monday, so that'll be me, but I know a couple of my friends are gone to the show, um, so I'll be telling yeah. them to give you a watch it for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not down, I've been amazing, right, like, because there's fire as well, like, that point was all punches as well, as aggressive, so, like, it's just, uh, it's like on paper it should be a great fight to watch, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, it's a tough one, but if you fuck the edges. Yeah. Well, uh, all the best anyway, mate. Thanks very much for giving us your time. No worries. Thanks, Tom. Cheers. Right, cheers, mate. Bye. Right. Yeah. Bye. Bye.